All right. Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Comics. We are excited to be back. Thank you guys for joining us. We are live on Twitch. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and go around the room and introduce everybody so we can get reacquainted. I'm Esteban. I am going to be your host today. Uh, let's see. The gentleman in the blue hat right below me. Mm, right below me. That is Ash. Hey. Uh, hi. Hi. <laughs> zoom, zoom, zoom. <laughs> uh, let's see. <laughs> Made it awkward all of a sudden, Mosby. Damn it. <laughs> the person that just made it extremely awkward for me in her Leo in her Leia buns. Uh, that is Mighty Mosby. Hello. And let's see, last and certainly not least, we've got Andres. How are you? So welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Comics. Greatly appreciate you, appreciate you guys joining us. Uh, once again, I am your host. Uh, Ash is going to be our uh, lead uh, anchor, I guess. He's going to be reading the notes for us. That sounds good. Lead anchor. Uh, and he's going to go ahead and keep uh, the eye on our little chat that we got going on on Twitch. Uh, but before we get into that, I'm going to go ahead and throw it over to Andres because he has yes. our drink of the evening. Andres? Okay, so I am drinking uh, slow and low coffee old fashion. It was made in collaboration with Elegencia. Uh, so it's really good, uh, pre made old fashioned. All I did was add ice and an orange, and it's pretty good. I still prefer making my own, but if you need a quick pre-made drink, that is actually really good. So cheers, everyone. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, cheers, cheers. All right, let's see. Hold on. Sorry, hold on. I'm sure this will be... We'll, we'll figure this out. <laughs> All right, so uh, fantastic. Andres, where'd you end up picking up that bottle? Um, you can oh. actually find it at any Bedmo. That's where I got it. They were doing a taster. Um, you know what pre-made is really good is the the bullet has a pre-made old fashioned and a Manhattan one, and the bullet's really uh, their old fashioned is really good. Um, so I wanted to try this because it's coffee old fashioned, and it's actually really good for a pre-made cocktail. Awesome! Very very cool. Thank you, dude. Oops. Appreciate that. Appreciate that very very much. Uh, let's see. So let's go ahead and throw it over to Ash. What do we got going on? What? Yes. Okay. Uh, today, uh, in the comics news, we got Summer, Summer, can't read today. Uh, mm -hmm. Super Mario Brothers lands a streaming deal with Peacock. Uh, Indiana Jones 5, what it means for the past. Uh, James Gunn gives a hint of Superman's costume. <laughs> and will there be an origin story? We'll talk about that. Margot Robbie and Adam Driver are uh, are they casted for Fantastic Four? Both mm -hmm. Ben Affleck and Channing Tatum are rumored to be on the set of a famous sequel. And Alien Romulus, hey, I spelled that right or said it right, was <laughs> uh, has an update for that. Nice. Very, very cool. All right. So Mosby's not very happy about the whole Come alien. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. Not doing it. <laughs> so uh, this is the part of the show where we kind of give uh, thanks to all of our fans. We want to go ahead and thank everybody for following us, uh, you know, uh, sharing our videos. We greatly appreciate you guys doing that. Uh, what we're looking for is we want you guys to go ahead and, and keep doing it. Please share the videos, share it with your friends, share it with your family members. Um, as Luis would say, it costs nothing to you, means everything to us. Uh, we greatly appreciate it if you guys do that. Uh, we have new content coming out on a regular basis. Um, so yes, we are excited for this. And uh, who knows, you might see us at a con soon. Oh, some of us. Uh oh. So, wow. so yeah, so uh, let's see, Ash, throwing it back to you, what kind of comments we got? Well, uh, we also like to um, show our gratitude by uh, sharing the things that you've said to us uh, by Absolutely. saying the comments that you've left either on Instagram, Instagram, or uh, YouTube, or, and we will read aloud if you talk on uh, TikTok or Twitch. 
Mm -hmm. uh, this comes in from heavyweight. Uh, did not hey. like. Uh, For a while. <laughs> did, did not like the Flash. The saving grace of the movie was Michael Keaton as Batman. I could Other than that, the movie was garbage. What? Wow. wow. That's all wow. anybody is saying. Wow. That's all anybody. That was in response to uh, the Flash. The Flush. The Flush. <laughs> Damn, that's what's going to be called now. Oh my God. The Royal Flush. And Michael Keaton is the turd that won't, that little chip that just keeps coming back. Like, oh, God. That's <laughs> oh. <laughs> nasty. You want to get nuts? Let's get nuts. It's a bit nutty. I haven't seen it. I still it's a seen bit nutty. <laughs> Austin Powers. Still have not seen it. Mm -mm. Not interested. So we got. So uh, let's see. Who else we got uh, for comments? We oh, I got. Uh, oh yeah, Mosby. Mosby, uh, you got. got you got beef, comment. Mos. I got a comment in the DMs from a viewer, Cali MVP, who is my friend, the smack talker that he is, and apparently. Hold up. How come how come they he DM'd you? Was it because like he's afraid that to Ooh. DM us Ooh. or just kind of like tell Ooh. us in, in our video? It sounds like somebody needs to put their money where their mouth is and come to the show because apparently when we did our verses and we okay. played Green Arrow versus Hawkeye, he mm. thought we were crazy for picking Green Arrow over. Oh, Hawkeye. So <laughs> For all, let's rewind. Let's re remind the people. For all intents and purposes, I was the one that picked Hawkeye. That's fair. That's fair point. Oh, really? It is fair. Really? He's the one guy that picked Hawkeye. Wow! Look at him. Don't shoot me. So now he's I'm... like, never mind. That guy. No, cool. no, fuck cool. it. Bring him on. Let's bring him on. I, I need right now. I need, I need the support. Okay. Mm, mm. He need he needs to be like Pedro Pascal and carry me just like he's been carrying the Star Wars series. Okay, I'm just saying Dang, on his back, ten toes down. He said, "There it is." But direct, Mister Cali MVP. This is me saying, "Come to the show." I got some verses we can go against. Come to the show. Dang. Come on, Cletus. <laughs> Come on, Cletus. <laughs> 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 okay. uh, it just had the perfect tone of it was there. Uh, it was definitely it was, there. <laughs> uh, we've also that was your only comment yes okay we also had um uh well we were all responding to our video but then there's a lot of likes on the um the show where we have guests and then also the hot one videos that we are doing. Nice. Um, we have an interview that's not out yet. And then yet. We, have, coming. Uh, we have a trailer for a video of an, of an interview uh, that got us um, some of the people that are following him are now following us. Cheers. Uh, fucking A. Yes. Cheers. Oh. Cheers to new subscribers. Yay. Cheers. Um, so um I'm blanking on his name. Uh Ray Hanna. Yes. Uh is the person we um interviewed. And thank you for him following us as well as um the you know how it tells you like these people follow but whatever yep. you have mutual followers or whatever. So yep. right. A lot of people came over from that. So thank you guys. Yay. Nice. Very, very cool. Victory. It's a small no, victory. Sorry, I love it. <laughs> sweet uh let's see and uh if you guys are watching this right now on twitch please leave comments uh we will read them during the show uh so if you guys are watching on twitch go ahead and and, and drop us uh some some messages uh on the uh on the twitch <laughs> on the twitch <laughs> uh ash what's our what's our first topic again can i tell you a stupid thought i just had of course, absolutely. I said, Whatever you say, dude, is not stupid. It's a there, there are no such in your life, And then you're like, I'm oh, sorry, Dawson. And your significant other's like, what the fuck did you just say? No, it's a joke from the show. It's a joke from the show. <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, the first thing we got up. Uh, hey. be so what? Hey. Hey. Uh, <laughs> 
uh, is Super Mario Brothers Land. No, I keep saying the wrong thing. Super Mario Brothers Land's uh, streaming deal with Peacock. I keep saying yeah. it all as one word because of Super Mario Brothers Land. So sorry. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, uh, this is this is actually pretty huge for uh, Peacock. Uh, they were actually able I mean? to score. Huh? So you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Big time. This is this or, or as this is what the kids call it. They call it the cock. Are you guys watching? Uh, are you guys watching the show on the cock? Um, Nobody no? knows. Nobody's saying that. I just figured because HBO went from HBO Go to HBO Max, and now it's just Matt. No, no. Okay, all right. I'll stop. <sighs> Sorry. Uh, anyways, uh, yes, this is a huge deal for um, Peacock uh, because Peacock ended up scoring um, scoring a um the deal with uh super mario brothers illumination studios who ended up uh creating the super mario brothers movie mm -hmm. so that just means that if anything ends up blowing up which it already has uh when we get super mario brothers 2 if we get any spinoffs peacock's got the right to it so don't be surprised if anything ends up dropping on peacock um shortly after what they're doing if they do any types of like spinoffs or anything like that which you know is going to happen oh, uh Mosby, what do you yeah, think I'm about, about that movie um, I was like, oh, it's coming to Peacock, but Xfinity just canceled Peacock, so now none of us get it for free no more. Damn. Mm -hmm. I don't know how I'm gonna watch it. <laughs> so I'm happy for the show. It's good to know that the movie is was successful enough that they feel like they can put a project together, but I'm just like, right. what the hell is it gonna be? Imagine if it's like Mario Paint. <laughs> it's all <laughs> oh, terrible. Sorry. <laughs> a Mario RPG movie that would be so awesome yeah i mean based off of the game yeah that's coming out definitely imagine it's like the cloud people the, oh, and now i'm thinking about the water levels boo boo like right it'd be, it'd be pretty cool to see exactly which material they're going to pull from or not pull from but i'm not i'm not going to pretend like i'm excited because you know these things rarely work out they rarely work out well i mean is they, i mean we've got super mario brothers is going to be uh for free on peacock and my kids got bamboozled me to buy the movie when it came out on digital <laughs> told him to wait but no dad we want the movie that's it's already out yeah it's already out you took your kids to see that two weeks ago <laughs> not two weeks ago it was like around their birthday but yeah okay but April. i mean you might he might have been busy <laughs> <laughs> but uh, did you ever go to transformers no i haven't seen transformers yet womp womp <laughs> yeah, I haven't seen Transformers yet. But I mean, we've all seen Super Mario Brothers, right? Yeah. Yeah. Now, or well, now that I know that it's out. Ooh, uh-uh, Ash. Come on now. That was like three months ago. I'm the guy that just said, didn't you see it two weeks ago? That's you know scary. what I mean? Yeah. yeah. And like even backstory, even with Wakanda Forever, like I was like, oh shit, that's already out. Like it's the it's I'm going through a fucking thing where I'm I'm watching like comfort stuff. Right. That sounds like therapy, but it's not. It's just like I don't feel like investing in yeah. anything right now. So, but yeah. What do you want? Okay, before we change it though, but what are you watching? What's your comfort show right now? What you go back to? Comfort? I have like seven. Like it goes from Friends to Brooklyn Nine to like Office to uh, Seinfeld, which I lost because fuck you Netflix. Um, I had. I had somebody's Netflix that had my cock, my peacock. Ah! Hi <laughs> Finally did it. Yes. <laughs> Shout out, Andy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, not Andrea. Sorry. Uh, anyway, but it was a joke. Anyway, uh, but yeah. Uh, I just can't. So. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, oh, that's there's a be, million that's things. Like, I want to see play. Warrior. I want to see Warrior so bad. It's, it's just, I know once I, like, um. Help me, the Logan. Logan. Succession. Succession. Yeah. Obsessed. I get all fucking. Yeah. Don't talk to me. It's Wednesday. Don't talk to me. It's Sunday. Whatever the fuck it is. Right. And with like other shows, I know I'm going to get like that. So I've just been. Warrior is a, Warrior is a good one. Good. Recommendation. Oh. Warrior. <laughs> and he's from Bullet Train. How the fuck did he stay on the train? But you know what I mean? <laughs> the best answer was because it's a movie. And I went, all right. <laughs> <laughs> I need answers. <laughs> Damn it. I'm wearing penny loafers and I'm on this fucking train. 
no <laughs> slippage whatsoever. No, you got good traction on them oh, paint loafers, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Even Batman had the ice skates when he fucking was ice skating fucking with hockey. Not the my ice super ice. Cool. Not the ice <laughs> 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 All right, what do we got next? What's up? Uh well I asked Moe's earlier yeah. why it's not at Disneyland Plus, but I remember now that Super Mario Brothers Land is at Universal, not so not I, I got it wrong. So that makes sense. Disney, not Disney. <laughs> Yeah, Disney yeah. knows owns a lot of shit, just not everything yet. Not, not, <laughs> <Yeah>. not quite <laughs> getting there, but not quite. Like yeah, no shit. Disney's uh fucking Bob Iger is like Thanos collecting the infinity fucking stones, man. Seriously, no production company is safe. <laughs> like they want everybody's catalogs for yeah. real. Yeah. And we get money from everything, whether it's like your fucking your fast pass or whatever the fuck it is to yeah. all that stuff. Um, Indiana Jones five negates Indiana Jones four. Sorry, Shia. Darn. <laughs> all right, so uh, Indiana five. Oh, nice. is, I know we, as we all know, Indiana Jones. <laughs> Uh, Indiana Jones 5 uh, is the final installment of the Indiana Jones series. Uh, So uh, Harrison Ford had a beautiful send off uh, when the movie premiered. I believe he had a two or three minute standing ovation as soon as the film ended. Uh, So it was it it, from all intents and purposes. This is one of the films that is on the list uh, for myself to watch. I have yet to see it. Uh, I did see Kingdom of the Crystal Skull that one the crystal skull one yeah i saw that one not impressed by it um was a little sad that that we got that you know and then how they like they firmly pushed shia to be like yeah you're the next indiana jones like it's gonna be you it's gonna be you and then yeah you know so it 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 was it was pretty bad and then now saying that you know uh part five negates part four uh, that's it, it just makes my heart happy so what they're telling me is that when I show the movies to my kids, I'm going to completely skip four and go straight to five. That's what that tells me. So, I mean, there's a lot of people yeah. in life that kind of wish they, you know, I didn't have that kid, you know? So, Ooh, wow. 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 Minute. Surprise. Okay. I don't know how they're doing it. I have no kids. So it ain't me. He's like, I have no children. For a reason. I love, yeah. I was going to say I love kids, but that's going to be the, the thing that's edited out of fucking context. <laughs> yeah. It, it Luis would do that. Yes, absolutely. Uh, Andres, being the massive Indiana Jones fan that you are, how do you feel about uh, the fifth installment kind of erasing erasing the fourth one? So I have yet to see it as well. Okay. Um, but uh, it's it's good news. Is anybody going to argue that it's not? That maybe suck massive amounts of, oh. of dick. So I, I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> I'm I'm glad that it's been retconned out of history, and I agree with you that if I ever do show my daughter those films, I'm going to skip right over that one like it never happened. Cheers! <laughs> if it taught us anything, it taught us aliens or Nazis. And it told us you could escape a nuclear bomb blast in an old refrigerator. Yeah. <laughs> it was lead line, though. Well, okay, it, that makes perfect sense. <laughs> it's a movie! They said to somebody, they wrote it. <laughs> Motherfuckers were ice skating on fucking tree limbs and shit. Like, nope. Uh, <laughs> I want to see him like do the whip and then swing across something and then do the Peter. Ah. <laughs> 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 oh, am I the only one that was hoping Shia LaBeouf was going to get his life together? I think he did get his life so i, I mean he went he through, he, what i've there. seen he went through hell and back i, I mean hope he, he acts again but it was just i don't blame him for that I, fucking movie. As as I, know. I wasn't mad i liked his character outside of the knife comb in the movie right i enjoyed his character and it made sense when they handed it off because it was like he was getting really like big at the time he was like right. the hot guy at the time he had gotten really handsome compared to how he looked on disney channel you know like he really puberty really worked out well for him so it was just like okay making Shia LaBeouf a hot heartthrob that works and then everything unraveled and it was just like 
the rest of this movie is fucking terrible. And it was yeah. just sitting through that. And I was like, why y'all do my baby like that? Because Kate Blanchett, I watch her in damn near anything. And I was looking at that movie like, how y'all get her to do this? Because, ooh, she's a real actress. So what's this all about? Yeah, no <laughs> kidding. Like, and, and I think it's just one of those where it's like you see like certain actors and actresses and stuff like that. When, when they do roles like this, you're just like, how the fuck did you guys get these people to do this? Must be in their contract that they have to do like maybe they get three A movies and then they got to do two B movies or C movies just to fill out contract because it's like Halle Berry did a movie about sharks, a shark monster movie, and I was just like, how y'all get Halle Berry on this? What's going on? She's still a big deal, so I don't know. (laughs) It must be unless it's with unless it's uh unless it's with the uh director unless it's a director thing you know like they like oh i want to work with this director and then just the writing is just shit you know it could be that too yeah that's fair some people do like to just get that experience in and they're like well networking man the parties and whatever like blah 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 yeah i'll be in your movie and then all of a sudden you find out the the lines are like this and like oh and shit (laughs) as crap as it is it's still part of the legacy of indiana jones so it's yet another thing she's a part of yeah you know very very true retcon but i like the actress that they have and uh who's going to be the next i mean spoiler alert she's the new indiana jones i guess after it's over like uh, they do some kind of timey wimey back travel back in time stuff and she she's going to end up taking over i like that actress she was on a show called fleabag on amazon prime yes and fleabag was so good like mm, so good so I, I don't know. I mean, I know there's probably a lot of hate because she's a woman, but I haven't really heard the trade off like a woman or we keep Crystal Skull and everyone's like, hell yeah, give me that. I'm cool. Good. Good. Yeah, I uh, from the stuff that I've been seeing online, I haven't heard any backlash from her taking over the mantle. You know, I I've heard more. I've heard more shit about the Marvels than about Indiana Jones. Oh Lord, <laughs> you know. So that's why I'm just kind of like, that's that people hating on it from the beginning, or they saw like a pre-screening, or no, just people hating on it from the beginning. Uh, okay. Yeah, I thought the Marvel Girl was a good. Sh- I, it, it took me three episodes, but then I got invested. Skip. No, it, it wasn't bad. It, was it? I mean, it's not gonna. Didn't need it. Didn't need <laughs> it. And then when they didn't pro- when it when I found out they didn't properly introduce Inhumans and they switched it to mutants, I was like. Oh, that's even, right. Even even happier that I didn't waste my time. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, it, it wasn't bad. It was a very much coming of age yeah. series. It really was. You know, that's what it was. It's 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 a high schooler uh, mm-hmm. movie uh, TV show. WB status where they're posing every fucking right, and which it which it wasn't. Which I was pretty thankful for. It wasn't that. You know, um, but I mean, I think it it did it did its part as a placeholder for the marvels you know what i mean like it, it did its part you know um are, is it going to get a second season probably the not worlds were also meshing too with her uh brie larson at the end and right. the love she had for brie, uh captain marvel like right eh, it was fine they're yeah, not all that's what I mean. it, sometimes yeah. they're gonna get godfather three and that shit yeah, it, it's it, it was a good placeholder. That's what it was. It was a placeholder for the Marvels, and that's that's it. It's not gonna, I, and I can probably say it will not get a second season. It, it's probably what it, whatever happens. It's getting the movie right. Right. Yeah. That. But that's what I mean. Like, it's. I don't think it's gonna get a se- second season because it is getting a movie. You know. Um. But yeah, it's it's just it, it's it it did its job essentially, keeping yeah. us or reminding us about photon and captain marvel that's that's pretty much what it was you know that yeah i'm ready for it oh, honestly, too they got to make it relate to kids now and not when we were reading the comic books yeah it's gotta so be that. she is gonna be texting she is gonna be that boy is cute whatever the fuck it's gonna be mm-hmm. us as our age it Get to where we get where they're fighting fucking uh Mephisto. Like, you know what I mean? Like, we're we're not gonna get that because we gotta get to that because it's right. always that's why they do all these fucking origin stories over yep. and over and over again. And to the point where like, Dick, we're done. There's been five of them, you're done. Yeah. Um, 
but uh, if they're gonna make it, and to be honest, I think that show, good or bad, whatever we think about it, there's representation for her culture that wasn't there before. Absolutely, it was, and it's not American. It is Americanized. Nope. I don't want to fucking say the wrong thing. Uh That culture in America, I don't want to say the word Americanized, but so I'm not saying it, but it's also like, you know, they celebrated by dancing. They did like all the, they introduced that culture to me Mm -hmm. so far as like, you know, like all I knew about was hummus, but now I know fucking awesome stuff. Okay. That came out wrong, but you know what I'm saying? (laughs) I'm trying to fucking be positive oh, about that. Was so I, 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 was, <laughs> that you're trying I, to be? I hate that we've become eggshells with everything when I'm being positive. Yeah, but it's so funny. Because all you knew was hummus. <laughs> <laughs> Baba Ganoush, right? Hey. <laughs> but it it was uh you know explained a lot of things that I didn't know. And it was For sure. it just like uh, when I was watching Fresh Off the Boat, it we're all the we all grew up the same, just you know, the same kind of parents, the same kind of yep. this, just a different culture, but the same. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. <laughs> I should just the next show. Please don't cancel me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just doing my best. That's what you need to do. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Old man, I'm doing my best. I'm doing my best. <laughs> Esteban, you ready for the next thing? Yes, sir. <laughs> James Gunn. James Gunn. James That's Gunn. <laughs> James Gunn, come on, Cletus. Come on, Cletus. There it is. Gunn gives a hint to Superman's costume and will have no origin story. Oh, no origin story. Oh, I'm actually excited about this. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but I'm super excited about this. I'm excited that we're not getting an origin story. I mean, how many times can you really tell Superman's story? Um, Zack Snyder still had the origin in there, you know, when he did Man of St- uh, although Man of Steel was a fantastic film, um, but it, it's I I don't think we need an origin story. I I don't think I don't think we need an origin story. Uh, what do you think, Mosby? Is he setting a time period at least? Is he establishing a universe at least? Uh, yeah, he's establishing that he's. Uh, so the the film is supposed to take place uh, while Clark Kent. Uh, Lois Lane and Jimmy Olsen pretty much join the bugle uh, or I'm sorry, the planet uh, all at the same time. Mm. Uh, So it's like them being interns together, kind of. But to me, I always thought that she were established at the Daily Planet and he came in as correct. I'm already like, nope. <laughs> Smallville ass energy. What are we doing? <laughs> they yeah. come to, they're interns together. So, something like that. That's that's what they that's what they're saying. It's it's going to be something like that. It would be know. funny if if Lana is like the crazy ex that keys his car and shit. <laughs> there better not be a Lana. There better not be a Chloe. There better not be in there. <laughs> no, I don't think I don't think they would be. I don't think they would be. Uh, but, but what do you think about this most? Um, what did I say on the last show? This was going to be mid, and that, that was my prediction. Yeah, right? you said that this was going to be mid. It sounds mid already, just from what you're saying. The intern thing is kind of like, what's that about? That's not, and what earth are they going to be on? Obviously, it's not the earth of the original comic because that's not how it went. So now we already know we're not which earth are we on? Is it supposed to be the same earth that uh, the Batman is in? Is it the same right. earth that the Joker is on? That's what I'm wondering. You're saying no origin story, but are you at right. least giving us a foundation of which earth we're on so we know to not be like, that's not where he went or that's not what she said? Yeah, okay. So so this uh, Superman story is not going to be in the same realm as the Joker or the Batman. Not the Robert Pattinson one. It's not going to be the, in the... No, Phoenix but the one. legacy though, right? Or... Bravery, no, no, Brave, 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 Brave and the Bold. That's where we're supposed to see our new Batman there. Right. And that Batman, yeah. yeah, that Batman and uh, this Superman, the corn sweat Superman is what we're going to see with uh, with uh, Batman. Some sweat corn. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. That would be cool if there was like a flashpoint or a something where like everything that worked out, we have them in one fucking movie and then done. 
Seriously. Hey, man. Take the universe already. That's what that's what the Flash was supposed to do, and they fucked it up royally. So yeah. there we go. Even when Gal Gadot was on fucking Shazam, I was like, and of course they played the fucking do 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 do. Like right. that was right. fucking cool. And it's like, it sucks that Mimos, Mom- Momoa and her are the fucking collateral damage of what yeah. wasn't yeah. working. You know what I mean? We definitely right. wanted both of them back. We were definitely happy seeing both of them come back in their oh, world. absolutely. And now we're going to get one more Momoa film and then Blue Beetle and then all of this. Oh, night. that's right. Yeah. They're still doing Aquaman too. Forgot about yeah. that. Yeah. So Mosby still thinks it's mid. Uh, Andres, what do you think? Uh, you know it's mid. Uh, <laughs> Look at him. Damn it. You want it to be good so bad. You got me. <laughs> uh, that, that homeboy is Henry Cavill knocked off. Like that is fucking wish Henry Cavill. Yep. So that's already bad for me, but I'm so dude. I hated the costume when they showed it. I did not like it. They already showed it. Yeah. Yeah. They showed uh the concept. Yeah. Concept art. Yeah. I didn't. I didn't dig it. Maybe it looks better in real life. Uh, it, concept yeah. pictures. Um, I'm fine with there not being a fucking uh, uh origin story. I mean, mm-hmm. we all know his origin story. The same thing as Bruce Wayne's. We don't have to see fucking Bruce's parents getting killed again. We don't have to see the fucking spaceship landing. If you want to touch on Jonathan Ken and Martha, that's good. Uh, even though the previous one kind of hurt Martha going forward. Yeah. The bullshit. Uh, but Martha. yeah, exactly. Uh, is it mid? I, I, I don't, I'm not willing to go out of that branch and say that it's mid yet. But it's not looking good so far, but I'm willing right. to give it a shot, I guess. Still, I'm still so, not out. Yeah. No, for, for sure. So to kind of give everybody an idea of uh, this Superman costume, this Superman costume is supposed to be pretty much the same costume in Action Comics number one. The uh, black shield on his chest, the black shield on his chest with the red S and the yellow outline around the the black shield. The, so the that's what it's supposed to be. Outline is what definitely took it out. So, Which one? The yellow outline. Like yellow, yellow outline. Yeah. yeah. That was ugly. <laughs> yeah. So so that's that's you what it's supposed to be. Yeah, so it, we're going back to the trunks. Uh, he's gonna have the underoos on the outside. Um, Why? Yeah. Why? He's gonna have Why? the underoos on the outside. Yeah. <laughs> because they're going somewhere, and we're gonna get to the cool suits. But we're can't start with the cool suit because that's what we already did, and he's too much like Batman. And it's like, fuck, we already mm-hmm. everything is eggshells. Like it's unless I don't know, it's fucking hard. Well, I couldn't, not only that, but James Gunn has to give up the money that they think. Sorry, y'all talked over each other. Say that again. <laughs> Go, Go ahead. I was gonna say, is that your phrase of the week? Ashy? Which one? Walking on it shows. oh it's not but yeah it's another fucking thing um the i hate that people we when i say we i mean them they just constantly compare themselves to marvel and right. like if you we're now because jar marvel did this fucking great ass rainbow and we're now at the end of the rainbow where now they don't know where to go. Like we're in phase whatever and things are not impressive to a lot of people where we were going. I mean, people are looking towards the next movie, right. but we're kind of disregarding what we've already kind of seen. Mm-hmm. Uh, but Marvel won't like, okay, well that didn't work. You guys are out. You're, you're still Miss Marvel. You're still mm-hmm. Captain Marvel. You're still whatever. Like it just didn't work out, but you, nobody loses their role. We don't scrap everything we fucking did um it's everything should live on its own and then okay that superman didn't work blah 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 blah. but this batman did they're not in the same world and then all of a sudden these things work like we could have they given everything a chance joaquin phoenix is blah 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 mm-hmm. is joker like just let everything fuck it. don't make any fucking announcements don't say fucking anything just mm-hmm. let everything have its own world right I understand you're copying Marvel, but goddamn, just 
it works. So just stop. The way you're trying is not fucking working. So just right, do right. your shit. Just. It's different with Marvel because even though Marvel had, even though we had multiple Marvel universes happening in several different studios, they went out of their way, not to mention characters from the other universes at the other studios. And DC is doing the exact fucking opposite. It's like they're going out of their way to remind you that there's two Batmans right now. Now we got two Superman right now. It's like, why? Why are you even acknowledging them? Like, just pretend they're on a whole legit different earth. We're just getting a peek into both. There's no need to keep referencing them like this one's this one and this one's this one guys like just let us do that with our imaginations the more they say shit the more they muddle it and the more we're expecting those universes to cross each other and it's just like you're making it worse just be quiet and that's the best thing too if they already created a world create a world amongst themselves you don't need to have superman in your shit you don't need to have green lantern in your shit just do it all like graphic novels and have everybody have their own fucking little world. And if you choose to, that Green Lantern is with that Batman. And mm-hmm. that's it for that fucking story. And that fucking, it just is it. It just, yeah. you guys can fucking, and there's nine Green Lanterns. There's, you know what I mean? Like, it doesn't. Seriously, just for Earth alone. Just for Earth has like five on its yeah. own. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's fine. We're good. Yeah. We work with this one this week. It's fine. We always go to fucking, come on, DC. Right? Like, I'd be rallying for them so hard. And then they just, uh, like, who is on your team? Do you not have any regular nerd fans on your team? <laughs> it's just messy for no reason. Oh, yeah, for sure. It's, it is, it's you the see, truth. Yeah. He's, you, uh, Andres, you see Henry Cavill. I see Smallville guy. Tom, Tom Welling. Welling. Yeah. I, I see that face. I that's see the, the I see. That's the point. The resemblance of. Henry Cavill, he but does like, look like a mixture of both. Yeah. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah, totally. He's got the right combo of both. I think he's a great choice for a new young Superman. I think the fact that he reminds us of previous Superman is going to work and work on the nostalgia in us. Like, damn, that's what I wanted to see Superman doing. Look at my boy. Like, I feel like we're going to have those moments, but it's not going to change the fact that James Gunn is James Gunn. And that shit is going to be terrible. <laughs> 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 yeah, I don't know, like, very, if, very if it was like James Gunn where he would shut the fuck up and just do Guardians, <laughs> that'd be cool. But it's James Gunn trying to be like, oh, I got this shit. Like this shit's what we're, we got this. Don't fucking worry about everything. He wasn't yeah. uh Henry Cavill wasn't supposed to be in the new ones. That was a mistake. Seriously, <laughs> like what, what, what who makes a mistake that big? Y'all know damn well y'all was trying to keep Snyder in the universe. So damn well you were just like <laughs> it's it's it. all the same old WB bullshit though. It's like oh you you guys fucking suck so bad that you fucking you're making announcements. You make announcements to fix announcements to fucking decline old announcements. It's like <sighs> fuck man. Like you fucking spend billions of dollars to make a fucking movie or a show and you fucking just pull it and delete everything. I just keep okay. getting hope, like. Hey, but we're gonna keep you as Bat, uh, Batgirl going forward, uh, Batwoman going forward. Just, just hang in there. You're just not gonna show your movie ever. But you're still Batgirl, so sit over here and wait till we figure it out. <laughs> no, I can't believe they deleted that movie entirely. Yeah, that's it's a write off, guys. Like, it's right off. Who the fuck could like, like seriously? <laughs> even if that movie was bad, it would have its niche audience. Put yeah, it we're still gonna watch it. Put it on the streaming service. service. Have people serve and watch it. If it's good and it gets a cult following, then you recover some money from it and you establish a character. But no, you fucking delete shit behind fucking creators' backs where they can't even fucking save a file. Like uh ridiculous. We would have watched it for her outfit alone. Oh hell yeah. It was good. Like, I even, saw people doing their just, version. If the movie was bad or not, like even just to watch, like okay, we got a Batwoman character. Let's watch and see how it goes. We got a Batgirl movie. We watch yeah. it. We would have talked a lot of shit about how terrible it was, but we still would watch. It. Dude, I fucking back to WB. I fucking love that original Wonder Woman, and you made a dog shit one in 1982 or whatever the fuck. Oh, 84. 84. Thank you. 
<laughs> but it still had the good graces where like, oh, this is what this fucking wasn't uh gal's uh, uh uh error. This was a fucking shitty movie. It's like, okay, Patty, you took an L on this one. Let's go forward and make another good movie. Like you yep. had the character that was universally loved, and you just all right, you shit it on it and it's done. I don't think they ever wanted her. I don't think they expected the first one to be successful. I think they expected the first one to tank so that they could say, we so gave pivot, you, right? like, we gave you your shot, lady. We let this lady come in. We let this lady have her turn. And then it was like, psych, it was the best one that y'all were able to drop as you established <laughs> the universe. And so they were like, now we have no choice but to give her the sequel because everybody's waiting for it. And I don't know who sabotaged her script or rewrote that shit behind her back because that second one was... I caramba mm. with all that talent on the screen. Mm. Yeah, like that, it, that was some major talent too on, on that screen. Totally different movies that I cannot believe the same writer director did that. That's what I'm. It just was like it was dead. like so uh, not necessarily raw, but as raw as a fucking PG thirteen PG superhero you're gonna get, like as the big three. And then you fucking did whatever that jokey slapstick movie was for the. The second one? I don't know if she was, she got a bit of the Joss Whedon bug or what? Like, we got to get away from dark and broody. No, you don't. <laughs> Not like that. You don't. Not like But that. That's, that's the thing is that that's how DC works. DC works with being dark and broody. We love it. Marvel we, works with being sunshine and rainbows. We love those miserable ass characters. Yeah, that's why, Maybe that's why um, fucking Morbius didn't work because they're not, you know what I mean? I still haven't seen Morbius to this Good, day. Don't. To this day, not even on a plane. I watched Silence. Not even on a plane. <laughs> I went to sleep instead. I went to Amsterdam. It was an option. I, I went to Amsterdam and refused to watch Morbius on that flight. I'm not doing it. <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> uh, what else we got? What I was saying, like I just I won't invest. I started mm-hmm. the beginning of it, and then it showed the little. Bat cave thing that he was in, and I was like, "Okay, I'm I'm good. I mean, I'm gonna watch it because it's got. Yeah, it, I have to, yeah. but I'm gonna let a few more years pass. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, exactly. Probably win. <laughs> uh, next. Yeah. Oh wait, wait, wait. Uh, okay, yeah. What well, next? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there was like four things I wanted to say, and then like you guys knew to run me over, so it worked. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot it now already. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Margot Robbie and Adam Driver are out of Fantastic Forecasting. Oh no! Yep. So this this broke earlier today. Uh, Margot Robbie and Adam Driver are both out of talks with Marvel to be Mister Fantastic and uh, Mrs. Fantastic. Uh, so the hunt goes on. Uh, the hunt goes on for. The four uh, are Mr. and Mrs. Fantastic. Uh, Ash, what do you think? What do you think about this news? I was never in for Adam Driver as fucking Mr. Fantastic in the first place. Sorry, homegirl. I am the same. I did not. If you're Von Doom all day long, if they could figure out a way to differentiate. uh, It's just going to Kylo Ren it up. Yeah, Kylo Ren. Like, like, that's why I always. Yeah, it would have been too much like that, but. <clears throat> hmm. He's a good guy, and on um in Saturday Night Live, he knows how to fucking make fun of himself. He was very funny, Great. but like uh yeah. I don't see him as a uh, the love interest guy. Okay, I'm, I know any women. Wow. Like, what's going on? I, I I didn't see Love Story or whatever the more whatever Great. the fuck meme is. I haven't seen it, but. Have you seen uh, him? Have you just seen him? Mm. Yeah, man. You are I, I, as a fully heterosexual male, I do not see anything at all attractive of that dude. Sorry. Hey, wait, what does that mean? I, like, I'm not the heterosexual man? God damn. No, I'm just speaking for myself. I, uh, yeah. homeboy is not attractive. I'm sorry. Y'all don't make any sense. Maybe it's just not my cup of tea. I don't, it's and it's not, it's not the nose, but there's some guys who are like, damn, if I looked like that motherfucker, I'd be in a club right now. Yeah, I agree. I'm like, oh, and yeah. You're good. 
<laughs> it, took, it literally took my breath away when he pulled his helmet off in Star Wars the first I, time. I, I went, I went <gasps> in the theater. Dad, I did not see it. I'm I'm sorry. I couldn't believe it because for some reason, and you know what? He shouldn't be attractive, but somehow it's like the height and the shoulders and his hair is incredible. And then he's got this really strong sure. stare. I, I won't argue. argue you know what's funny? Sorry, sorry. I feel the same way when I'm not attractive physically to a person. Uh, when I say, that's why you said you're the heterosexual to a girl. <laughs> and then all of a sudden she's funny and down to earth. Then I'm all like, oh incredible. shit. Incredible. All right. Like you're not like, like right, right away. I wasn't like about it, but like, no, dude. And he was, he was in the Marines. He went. To, he was in the Marines. He was a Marine. He from Arkansas, like me. My mom is on your lips. The Adam Driver stand. <laughs> <laughs> okay. If nobody else do it, I will. And I, just I, him. I, I wasn't like one hundred percent for him as Reed, but I was willing to 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 see it out. I was willing to see Are it. Are you going to see him with like gray the the streaks oh, yeah. on Reed's hair? I do not see it. I don't think he'd wear his hair that short. I don't yeah, think. I think so. like I I, he I usually wears his hair like long. Yeah. Well, I in the like, in the the House of Gucci movie, his hair was pretty short at the end of the film. Uh, <laughs> for the majority of the film, he had it long, but but the uh, at the end of the film, he had it a little bit. He had it pretty short. The guy that did it in the OG. No, the OG is a fucking different movie. Uh, you talking about Jessica yeah. Alba. That guy was like Ian, Ian, Owen Gruffle to her. Owen Gr- I, I can't totally say. I'm going to remember that. That guy was a perfect age to be like, I'm young, but I somehow have a little bit of gray like, like or white. Like it kind of, it wasn't like fucking Macaulay Culkin trying to have like <laughs> white hair right here. Like, yeah, it's yeah, not, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, and that guy is too young for that right now. I think what you guys are not really considering is the essence of Reed Richards as a person. Does he strike you? He's actually an awful human being. And but, the people don't realize that because they're like, he's just so smart and he's on a hero team, but he's like a narcissist and terrible with his relationship and just like. Does he strike you as the most, uh, uh, the smartest man on earth to you? Oh. Yes, he is exactly right. That's why I can't, I can't he see He doesn't, it. but neither does Reed until he opens his mouth and reminds you that he's the smartest person in the room. Because he never gives anybody else the opportunity to say it first. It's always got to be- There's got to be a reason why fucking the jock is his best friend. A reason why- Because he was uh, getting beat. He still needed a bodyguard. He still needed- <laughs> Which is why we're going to see John Krasinski now as Mr. Fantastic. I, they should keep it with him. It would have been fucking- And you already have- I'm not plans. mad at that. Oh, we man. already saw it and we loved it. Yeah. We gave it to us, and the, every I know every theater reacted because mine did audibly when they and we knew he was coming because there had been so many hints. Right. And as soon as he walked on the screen, everyone was like, "I knew it," and I was like, "Yeah, it works." Also, the way that he acted with um, "Quiet Place," it's a "Quiet yeah. Place," like there's already that love there. Like even if they play the broken up or whatever, there's always that that love there that they can fucking play mm. you know what i mean like uh we're we'll getting it's like uh spider-man and uh lois lane spider-man and mary jane like we're gonna fight but we're always gonna be like there anyway yeah sorry i'm playing Spider-Man. Adam driver's out margot robbie's out <laughs> I noticed none of us have talked about Margot Robbie. We're just like, great. No yeah. that, <laughs> I never wanted her in there in the first place. Because <laughs> that's Harley Quinn. That's Harley yeah. Quinn. And yeah, that's that's why. It seen. has nothing to do with her. Uh, not her as an actress. Character. It's yeah. just she is Harley Quinn. It doesn't, even, it doesn't even push her at all. It doesn't. No, not her. at all. Not at all. Yeah, it, it it really doesn't. You're right, Ash. It really doesn't push her as an actress to, uh, to be. Look at Barbie. Like you gave an actor Barbie. Mm. It wasn't. Sorry, Alicia Silverstone, in your time, it wasn't like you were, no, it wasn't like you were made to be like, I'm an actor's, Kate Blanchett, I'm not an actor's actor, you are that, right now. I'm not saying she didn't do anything great, I'm just saying right now, like, crush, fucking this, fucking everything she did, like, uh, Clueless, 
you were made for that and then we'll get you to that so anyway what i'm all i meant was and now because of harley quinn because of fucking um uh wolf of wall street like she's an actress and like you and maybe i'm just used to the jessica alba version but that was the best version for me well, that was the only version for you. I was no, like, that's why you got it. What? The redhead, bro. The, uh, oh, the you're own. talking about from Fan Forstick. <laughs> yeah. No, you can't use the Rooney's. Rooney. Okay, no, okay. So what I'm saying. The Rooney's? There is. And there's a third one, which is the 80s one. <laughs> now, you know we're not talking about that one. Okay, that's not what I'm saying. All I'm saying so was damn that. Well, you could have said cartoon. Not the 80s. <laughs> Yeah, but she has a, <laughs> probably the most powers, right? She can go invisible. She can do force push. She could do yeah more than everybody else. One flame it's on, and the other one force feels inside your body and slowly right. Expand, so, you so she should be an actress, maybe obviously. But who would you cast just for Sue? If we just for Sue, have to be, and they don't have to be blonde. You don't have to pick a blonde actress. That's the thing that sometimes can hold you back. You think you got to pick a blonde to p- play a blonde, but no, you just pick who. No, I think Michael B. Jordan changed that for me when he was. I was fine with that. I thought he did good too, and I like the fact that they made uh, Baxter black, so it was the two of them are black, and she's adopted. You know what I mean? I thought that was yeah, a, yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought that was a good angle for it. I didn't mind that at all. Mm-mm. Uh, the was, it, was, it, was, it was the WB for an hour and 45 minutes and 10 minutes of them being the Fantastic Four. Because yeah. when because when Doom hit that corner, that slow motion <laughs> walk around the corner, I was like, yeah, I was ready for it. And then they yeah. just he did he just was like bat, bat, bat. and that was about <laughs> it. <laughs> I was so sad. And what's sad is I always see Marvel versus um uh Marvel versus Capcom. Capcom. You know, he has. 50 fucking powers. So much. They, Doom is so, so like, strong. Too. Yeah. Doom is dumb strong. So. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. See, so uh, it's, I think it's real hard now. It's real hard to try to cast uh, someone else as Mr. Fantastic and the Invisible Woman uh, for, for the Fantastic Four. I mean, if everything stays the way that it is and we're still getting the same Johnny Storm and the same The Thing um the actors that are supposed to be portraying them if that still stays the same cool i i'm all for that you know um but to try to recast or try to pick who it's supposed to be that i think is difficult true you know? so fan cast if you had like you could fan cast it i don't really know i feel like i want somebody up and coming a I, and i think that's what we need now i i think we don't we do not need in these in this in this era in in this time of in this second round or this second generation i guess or this second iteration of superhero films that are now coming out i don't think we need the brad pitts and the uh, yes the brad pitts and the um you know tom cruises and all them to be to be superheroes you know what i mean got it we need we need the up and coming ones that that are that are you know to to just break the mold to just be someone else we had that with henry cavill then dc said fuck all you guys we're gonna go ahead and get rid of cavill andres uh, you got to oh he did make his name blue. blue you're picking your daughter blue? blue oh yeah my daughter <laughs> they were all blue once a lot of time but that's the only one that survived oh um, I since we're doing fan casting, I have two for uh, uh, Mr. Fantastic and Mrs. Fantastic. Uh, okay. the dude who played Elvis, uh, Austin Butler, and Ooh, since yeah. uh, since she's not on uh, Samara Weaving for for Miss Fan, uh, Mrs. Fantastic, she was oh, already for that, Lois, wasn't that, she? Uh, kids, that's kids, uh, yeah. No, Samara so Weaving is Mara Hugo Weaving. Weaving's daughter, right? He looks just okay. like Margot Robbie. I'm, I'm thinking of. I got a blonde for it. Oh my gosh, she looks just like Margot Robbie. <laughs> She's going but on younger. that. Younger, you guys want a younger people? 
where it's like Margot Robbie and what Jamie King and all of them, and they're Jamie, like, uh, is, uh, not the same person? Wait, it's what? Never mind. Sorry, she's already Mary Jane. No, yeah, she's already Mary Jane. My bad. Never mind. Okay. Do you know who I see if they're going to go older or at least current? Uh huh. The new girl guy. That's fucking hilarious. Oh, uh, Max Greenberg or no, something like that? Yeah. Right, fucking, uh, Not the one that talks for Peter B. Parker. Spider-Man. Yeah, Peter B. Parker. He's yeah. talking about yeah. Nick. Parker. Yeah, dude. Yeah, that, I could see him as both that and um, Johnny Storm. You could see Johnny yeah. Storm. Yeah, I could see him. I actually would pick uh old girl from the Sabrina show that Netflix did. The edgy Sabrina show. Oh, she came oh, out in Mad Men. Yeah. Yeah. That little chica that played Sabrina. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. So then you got to pick somebody like age appropriate, so it's not all. Of course, because she's only like twenty. Men and her. Yeah, she's only like twenty. <laughs> yeah, because okay, so so the Fantastic Four movie is supposed to take place in a part of it's supposed to play, take place in the sixties. Okay, Ooh. so so we are going to yeah, be in the sixties right. for that, and then okay. it's and then it's supposed to like go present time. Hmm. You're talking about Kernan Shipika. So is there two different casting, or is it going to be? No, no, it's supposed to be the same casting. Oh, and they're just supposed to age them up. They're... No, so I guess apparently it's like with like they've been on, they've been gone from the planet or something like that. Oh, you know. Because... They, so okay, so you know how when they went out into space and that's how they got their powers, right? Well, they went out in space, they got their powers, and they've been gone since then, and then they oh, come back. Okay, interesting. That's what's supposed to happen. Yeah, I could like that. I could like that. Yeah, I think I could so it's like Austin that. Powers in space. Uh, kinda, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> got it. I, I think I could get behind that. Yeah, that's what she said. Mm. What? That's what he said. Next piece. Next piece. Next piece. All right. Uh, both Ben Affleck and Channing Tatum are rumored to be on the set of Deadpool three. <laughs> Daredevil and which is fucking cool because <laughs> that Ash movie, finally gets his gambit. If he comes, no, no, Daredevil, no, be that's sad. not my gambit. Um, who's your gambit? There's only been one other one. No, yes. tell me you like Taylor it's Kish better than you. Writing, fuck, who would that's uh, a good you know, Justin <laughs> Butler would be an awesome fucking gambit. Keep going, y'all just <laughs> no. I'm okay. I don't hate Channing Tatum because fucking obviously 21 Jump Street really opened my eyes to him being fucking cool. And also, this is the end. Bullet train. Bullet train. And Haywater. No, I did forget that he was in that. Um, He he had like the best line in that movie. Is this a sex thing? Is this a sex thing? And I saw it once and I'm stuck on one fucking scene. Yeah, but not- that did make me accept Craven, and then I saw the trailer. I, no take backs. <laughs> no take backs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, garbage. But, but at least it made me accept the hitman part of him. Anyway, right? But right. Uh, <laughs> it's it's not it's not Channing Tatum. Because it's Channing Tatum, it's it's not Channing Tatum because I don't feel ah man. You know he's from Alabama, right? There's no, but there's such a okay. I'm gonna romanticize it. Do it. He can get every girl, but the girl he can't touch. He got her too. What you mean? <laughs> he did get her, but I'm saying that's the romantic yeah. part of it. Is the you know what I mean? Like he can finesse every girl, he can whatever, right. and then right. but that's the one that you know what I mean, and then vice watch. versa. You need to yeah. watch Step Up and how he fell in love. And I with can't him. see that because that's the guy from Step Up. You need to rewatch Step Up Step Up because the tension <laughs> I've never him. seen Step Up because I'm a as uh, <laughs> I'm a heterosexual <laughs> man. <laughs> <laughs> you need to watch Step Up and the tension between him. All and right, him. I will watch. Is that my recommendation? I watch Step Up. Yes, that's your recommendation. Watch Step Up. <laughs> step Up, and you'll you see Manny Tatum. That's 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 your recommendation. Your recommendation, Ash, is to watch Step Up. Uh, 
to the streets. Oh, look for it. it. <laughs> not to the streets. Not to the streets. <laughs> no, just the first one. Just the first one. That's all that matters. <laughs> okay. And then after that, then watch Magic Mike 3. Oh, no. That's on my list. That's well, Tama the- Hayek, though. Tama Hayek's in that one, Hayek. yeah. She's so fine. Fine. She gets a Ooh. cool. Rosario. By the way, she comes out in the, the first episode of Black Mirror that just came out. All right. Yeah. Yeah, we'll watch that too. It was good. Did, have did we, see, have we not talked about Black, Black, Black Mirror? No. Oh, we did. I we will. talked about it before the season dropped. I will, I will honestly, if that'll be like our Mandalorian, I will start that if we'll do that every week. Oh, I already been. I already finished it. Sorry. Already done. <laughs> But I mean, but we can we, do Secret Invasion because Esteban was super excited about it. And I've seen two episodes and you've seen an episode. So. Now I haven't seen shit. Damn. <laughs> um, no, but yeah, but yeah. So you guys, but you guys all saw Sal- Salma Hayek salsa dancing, right? Oh, wait. In life? Yeah. <laughs> on her Instagram, on her Instagram, she was salsa oh, dancing yeah. in her robe. Uh, yeah. I, saw her, I saw her post for National Bikini Day. Oh, yeah. I saw that post for National Bikini Day too. Fifty six yeah, years old. Hang on. <laughs> at, at fifty, Miss Man, can still get it. She's on my if I was gay list. She's definitely on my if I was gay. Well, list. on the, the that's the switching sides. My switching. <laughs> My switch up yeah. list. <laughs> if there ever was a switch that's, up, yeah, that's the uh, that's the that's the thing on TikTok right now. With no camera list. Yeah. But, <laughs> if I if I was the right level of intoxicated and feeling <laughs> real zany, <laughs> let's go. It lowers as we talk. Right <laughs> if she can keep a secret. Yeah. I just feel like she <laughs> feel like hearing her with the sexy whispers will have you like woo. <laughs> That's what I think for her. Shout out to Selma Hayek. Absolutely. Shout out to Nancy with to tacos host. in a robe. Oh. Marry me, please. Mm-hmm. <laughs> her husband. Wait, wait, what are we talking about? Yeah, Chinese Tatum. No. What are we going on about? <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, so, I just, yeah, it's rumored that he's my favorite X-Men. But yeah. to be honest, I hey, I it? pause. I on. almost like uh-uh. I did you just say your favorite X-Men is Gambit? I did. It has been since I was 15. Do you want to know why? My favorite, my favorite X-Men is Cyclops, and that's another one. People are like, what the oh fuck? Oh my gosh, I gotta quit the show. Y'all are serious. Are you are gonna pick the fucking generic one everybody always picks. Oh, it's fucking Wolverine. Yeah. yeah you, you think I'm picking Wolverine? Honey, it's Jean Grey or no one. What do you mean? I don't know. <laughs> Wolverine. That's so funny. I'm gonna quit the show because it's not number one fucking the most powerful as yeah. strong as fucking Professor I, X. I have yeah. loved her since I was seven. Seven. I have wanted to be Jean Grey. Who's oh. the wrestler? Who's the wrestler? Oh, Becky Lynch came out as Dark, uh, Dark Phoenix at I Money in the Bank. I saw it. Was it Money? I thought it was Rogue. She. I thought she was wearing like. I thought it was Rogue. Oh, she was Marvel Girl. Was oh, she back. came out as Miss Mar. Oh, got it, got it, got it. Marvel. Okay. I didn't like the Marvel girl run. I thought it was. I just saw the the green and yellow, and I thought it was. Well, yeah, I thought it was Rogue when I saw the green. green and yellow. I thought it was Rogue yeah. too. Yeah. The 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 old school cartoon, not cartoon, comic book. Yes. Was in it? Green dress and the gold yellow. sash. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Ah, oh, Jean Grey. Oh, we are everywhere. Mm. All right. We are comics. Powerful. Um, we're everywhere. Uh, we're everywhere. We have. We only went to me for the Ben. Aff, uh, the yeah. Ben so Ben Affleck, Ben Affleck, and Channing Tatum supposed to be uh, recording, uh, filming cameos for Deadpool three. Um, there were set photos that were dropped. Also, uh, we did get a glimpse of uh, Ryan Reynolds in the Deadpool costume. Costume looks exactly the same. The only major difference is that the colors are a little bit more vibrant on the suit. So it just kind of seems like they're kind of like because he is the this is his introduction into the MCU. So they're adopt they're adapting the the vibrant colors that you know all the Marvel movies have been doing thus far. Um, but he's next to a van, and I'm gonna laugh my fucking ass off as if they turn that minivan into a time traveling capsule, so that they like a DeLorean. That makes sense. Like that that it would be watch, very Deadpool. Has a cable watch though. Yeah. Well, right, but that's what I'm saying. Like that, that would be very Deadpool, you know. I'm just, I, I'm excited for the film. I'm a little weary 
Okay. And the only reason why is because the majority of the lines in Deadpool one and two were um, ad libbed by Ryan Reynolds. Mm-hmm. Okay. And because of the writer strike, Uh-oh. he cannot do that. He can't oh. write it. They he, can't, he cannot ad lib. He cannot change anything in the script because of the writer strike. He can't make it better. He can't write yeah. Reynolds it up. Yeah. So I'm a little weary about it. I'm a little I'm actually weary, excited. but not he's one of the writers, though. Maybe he could build himself as one of the writers. He no, is one of the writers. Right. That's the whole point. I'm actually excited to see what other people think Deadpool should be. That's what I'm thinking. I'm wondering how much it's going to be like X Men Origin. How much is it going to be like that? Oh, I hope not. Because <laughs> just not. like when you think about Ryan Reynolds kind of plays Ryan Reynolds in whatever character he does. So right. whatever character he does becomes this affable, goofy, snarky, breaking the fourth wall type of person. That's every character he does. Yeah. So it would be, it, I think it's going to be interesting to see what it's like when he can't Ryan Reynolds up a character and he just has to follow a straight line. Right. Curious to see what his acting is when he has to follow that line. And I think that's what makes me worried. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Do you think we finally see uh, the yellow suit on Hugh Jackman? I think so. I think we'll see the yellow suit or a variation of it. Um, but I see the yellow and the brown. I don't see the yellow and the blue. Yeah, I see the yellow and the brown. That that those colors, those muted colors, would probably work better in the Marvel in the MCU. The, um, the Wolverine. But again, we are power. supposed to get different variations of of Logan. So again, the one that I'm Wolverine stoked to see, I want to see Patch. You want to see Patch? I want to see Patch. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Patch Adams. Patch. A... Oh. It's such a no. deep. Patch <laughs> is the one that that was the. Oh, no. Oh, okay. It's the other one, Wolfsbane. No, Wolf, Wolfsbane. no, Wolfsbane. Someone else. Come on now, come on. There was a different one. There was a different one where he's full on Harry. It was on the Marvel card. So little. <laughs> Fuck. I don't know, man. Okay. Anyway, what about you, Andres? What do you think about uh, Affleck and Channing Tatum being Affleck? Affleck. Cool. I don't care either way. I'll probably no probably. <laughs> Shit. Uh, this is also also a Channing Tatum stand over here as well. This is why I'm like he's from could Alabama. Could not tell. Could not tell. Could you, could you not? He's from Alabama, so he already knows how to talk like that. <laughs> he can dance. Face closed. <laughs> he's gonna be good. I'm telling you, he He'll won me over in 21 Jump Street. I have his back. All I'm right. saying is like. Gambit is my favorite X-Men, so it's hard to see him. I don't want, I just don't want to see the Lake House version of him. I want to see like <laughs> like a Benicio Del Toro. Like, I'm this guy that's a piece of shit that is charming. Right. That. That is who Channing Tatum is. What you mean? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I haven't seen enough of his movies. Probably just, not. I just think that because of how long he's been fighting to play that character, that he's going to do... Oh, it. I didn't know that. I didn't he's know been he was fighting, fighting for a long time. He tried to produce the... He tried to put the movie out by himself. A whole movie about Gambit. He tried to do it. He, yeah, he's been... Oh. He, it got announced during pandemic that it was happening, and then it fell apart. So he yeah, was in the Gambit movie. So he's been <laughs> fighting since, like, 2016? Something like that, to be mm-hmm. able to play Gambit. So... I'm just kind of like somebody who wants it that bad is probably a real fan of the character and can do it justice. So yeah. the way that I judged him was just another star getting another role. Mm-hmm. Was it also his abs? The abs are no, that's only how I judge UFC fighters. That's We've fine. discussed this several times. Sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Make a note, make it a mental note. Make it a mental, mental note. note. I just <laughs> thought it was a magic mic, you know. But I'm 50-50. There was one show that I was like 100 and I got and everybody was all pissed at me. Because I, so the reason that's a joke is because I got one hundred percent because I based it all on abs, and then it's I've never lived that down, and that's like iteration two of comics. <laughs> Anywho, moving on. Nick. Oh yeah, so I but now that I know that, like, uh, you know when Michael Keaton was Batman, and yeah. there was the fucking uproar. Help me with the fucking signings. What is that word? Edition. 
petition for him to not be it when Adam West was it. And I'm not no shitting on Adam West. There's just that Batman and there's fucking Batman. Right. Um, and they just don't know people could have fucking range, which now I take back as I say that because mm-hmm. people can have range. Uh-huh. Take it back. Uh-huh. <laughs> 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 Here, hold this for me. Still my favorite fucking coming out of America. Coming out of America? Coming, coming out America. of America, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. Still better than the sequel. Still better than the sequel. Oof. Let's <laughs> act like that didn't happen. Let's just act yeah. like never happened. Never, never happened. happened. What do we got next on the what, what do we got next, dude? Well, lasties. Lasties for my as I say for my last drink. Lasties is Alien Romulus has wrapped filming. Okay, so wish uh, I had more hands. <laughs> so, uh, as many of you guys know, the uh, the lot of us here on comics, we are massive Alien and Predator fans. Uh, so, some of us are excited to see Alien Romulus, are you, which is are the you new film Alien coming. versus Predator fans? I'm all of it. I all of it, dude. All. I've seen them all. Uh, me too. Me too. I liked it. You know, yeah. I think I think Prey Prey got me really excited. Oh my god, Prey, Prey, was good. Prey was good. Alien. Or Predator. Predator, you know. that was a good one. Man, I remember it was that. really good. And they explained it really well. Like oh, absolutely. How, how, mo- you need all this technology to take one out, and then now how do we do this with like bow and arrows? Like yeah. those fucking cool. and oh, yeah. the fucking hero was a fucking female. Great fucking he suit, she he crushed he suit against him, just fantastic. Yeah. Fantastic. She fucking crushed Even it. Even though yeah. Predators was just Predator with Adrian Brody. I don't understand yeah. why they just did the same fucking movie. <laughs> same uh, fucking movie. Okay, remember like, Adrian Brody got abs for that movie. <laughs> yeah, he did. But it was the it's same. Yeah, he was looking good. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's a big nose guy that I'm like, ah, he's going to take my chick. I understand. Why'd you mention the nose? Yeah, but Adam, Adam Always Driver be like, hey Adam. That's why I'm he was, I knew he was gonna talk about Adam Driver's nose. <laughs> the whole time I was like, he's gonna bring up that man nose. Watch. No, <laughs> there's been those people that absolutely was still your woman. They are both flying Adam to Driver me. was like, oh, we're good. <laughs> I mean, famously now he could probably well, but I'm just, on this I'm Adam Driver. No, non-famous Adam Driver, it was fine. <laughs> oh, Romulus. I'm sorry, Esteva. Who do you want? Uh, to okay. So, Alien Romulus is going to be the newest Alien iteration film that is going to be coming out. Mind you, this is it's going to be separate from the Alien TV show that is also going to be coming out uh, soon. Uh, they are supposed to be tied together. Uh, they're supposed to be kind of like piggybacking off of each other, I guess. Um, Prometheus still Alien thing? Romulus no? is done filming. They have wrapped. Uh, what was that, Ash? Is Prometheus still a thing? Like it's all same world or not? I think this this Romulus thing is supposed to, uh, based off of the poster that they released today, it looks like it is a reboot. Uh, uh. <laughs> reboots. That's what it. That's what it looks like. I could be. I yeah. could be one hundred percent wrong. Anybody that's watching this or listening to this, please comment and let us know if if I am wrong. But based off of the poster, the poster is supposed to be uh kind of like a cave drawing or a, a cave uh, yeah like a cave drawing and it's the alien the xenomorph reaching out for to like pick up a human child uh so it, it does look like it's a reboot um i i mosby is definitely not happy about this at all uh mosby why are you not happy about this well i'm googling it. i just googled it right now and it looks like it's supposed to be a standalone installment Okay. So if it's a standalone, it means it's some random one-off, but we don't know that to be fact because they're still calling it the untitled film at this point when you Google it. So clearly they don't have all the facts. My thing is, if you know anything about Greek and Roman mythology, then you know Mm -hmm. about Romulus and Remus, the two twins, how they started man. We already got the man story and you flopped. I don't want to see you trying to do this origin of man version story again. Like you already had your chance. You blew it. Was it the Prometheus one or was it part two and they fucked up? Part two is where they fucked up. Prometheus was already something that you did not expect when you went to see an alien Mm -hmm. film. 
you already walked in like this is an alien film. And then Prometheus was like, no, it is not. It is something else entirely. So then you're like, okay, now I need to enjoy Prometheus for what Prometheus is. Then you get the sequel and you're like, perfect. We're going to finally get all the answers that this movie raised. And it was like, just kidding. We let them fuck the people. And then they had some babies. And then all the scientists forgot that their brains are, are, are super. And they put he put his face in the egg. I don't forgive you for that. I don't forgive you for that. Ah. <laughs> We're making you know clips of the best of this is right here. <laughs> you know what? I got I got a recommendation. I got a recommendation, and this recommendation is gonna go to Ash and to Mosby. I already got it. It's gonna go to Ash and to Mosby. All right. Have you guys seen the movie Life? With with Martin with and Eddie Murphy? <laughs> no, no. Oh no, no. Yeah. it's it's uh with Ryan Reynolds, Jake Gyllenhaal. They are astronauts and they are bringing back what looks like a symbiote life form back to Earth. Ooh, it's okay. Life. Right it's called oh. Life. Uh, I never heard of that one. See it. They were like saying that it was like a like origin story for Venom. Yeah. But really? it's not. But it's not. But it's not. Oh, okay. Just ah. it works as one. But it's it, does. it works really well as one. Okay. I'm so watch. that's. That is your guys' homework, okay? For Ash and for Mosby, okay? That is your guys' homework. Movies. You got Step Up or Life? No, no, no. Forget Step Up. Watch Life. <laughs> <laughs> you get you get extra credit if you watch Step Up. <laughs> um. So Life, okay? Yeah. That is your guys' homework. Watch Life. It's with Ryan Reynolds, Jake Gyllenhaal. Um. God, I can't As remember Andres his would name. Say, he played Scorpion in uh, Mortal Kombat, the the most recent Mortal Kombat. Oh, the oh the Japanese guy, I love. Yeah, him. the older He's guy that's fucking always cool. Name starts with an He's H. A warrior too, or warrior yeah. as well. He was definitely on Bullet Train. Yeah, he, he was in Bullet Train. Yes, He's not a warrior. Mm-mm. Yeah, he was in the, he was in John Wick Four. He was in John Wick Four. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Is that streaming yet or no? Not yet. You can you can buy it or rent it right now, but you can't. It's not free to stream. Fuck. So, saw- so that's your guys' homework to watch. Hiroyuki Sanada. Hiroyuki Sanada. Yes. Probably Sanada. I'm not saying it right. Hiroyuki Sanada. So that is your guys' homework. You guys watch yeah. it. You guys report back for the next episode. Tell us what you guys think of it, of uh, life. Okay, not the Eddie Murphy one. <laughs> okay. It was good though. <laughs> it was good. Um, so so that's what we're looking at for for Alien, this new Alien iteration. Um, Andres, how do you feel about Alien? Because I know you're a big fan of Alien and, and Predator as well. Um, so I'll give it a watch. I am not uh, like an instant now like Mosby was. I did love right. more fucking Prey was like, oh, like that came out of nowhere. Good. Yeah. Um, uh, I did love Prometheus. And yeah, I kind of did not, did not, didn't like how they threw that all away. Mm-hmm. Following, but I'm willing to to give it a chance. So uh, this is kind right of what they're doing a fucking uh, uh, they're starting over again. So mm-hmm. it's, it's kind of weird. But yeah, we don't know much, so I'm excited and I look forward to more coming out from this movie. Cool. Okay, so we got one that's excited. Mosby's just not having it. <laughs> Mosby's, Mosby's gonna go to her corner. And be like, mm. <laughs> How do you Ash, what do you think, man? Uh, I liked Prometheus. I uh, mm-hmm. thought I was gonna be scared of it. I will say, I will say this: the day that I got a little bit of a little bit ballsy, uh, I did Exorcist, Ooh. Alien. Friday the 13th and <clears throat> Nightmare oh, wow. in the same day because really? it was like on TBS, right? Okay. But I got interested in it because it was like, you're not showing what I want to see because I know that it's on TBS. Right. Like okay. I get, but now, like, you, it, if I'm <laughs> interested in the story, I want to see it. Uh, I think I'm okay with slasher films. I don't think mm-hmm. I'm okay with like the conjuring. Oh, okay. yeah. Once it's like all fucking. Like, yeah. Yeah. Like, 
Uh, again, again. I watched Terrifier. Uh, yeah, no. <laughs> no. Yeah. If, if I watch the movies that you're fucking recommending, it will be like you, me, your wife, to make sure I'm huddled and safe. My daughter, too. Oh, and, oh, absolutely. Hey, not the daughter brave enough, but not you. Like, I would just have to be like, like uh, to go to sleep. Because we always talk about this. You're going to make me watch something and then fucking leave. And then it's going to be like when I watch Succession at 12 o'clock in the morning going, did you, couldn't you believe that part? Blah, 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 blah. You guys can't even handle that. And now imagine me watching a fucking scary movie. Like, That's these true. slasher films, but like, and fuck with your mind. Like, Midsummer, fuck Midsummer. everybody and their motherfucking life. Did you happen. saw Midsummer, but did you watch Hereditary? No. I think what? Hereditary. The girl, uh, the person, the girl I was with at the time when she talked about the head coming off of, I'm all good. All good. I can't even handle Mama because of what they talked about. Mama was silly. <laughs> Mama was silly. Like, Mama was silly. I, I think oh, if it, <laughs> she's extra long and creaky. Mama was it was cute. Mama was actually kind of romantic. You should, yeah, you might actually like that. Watch Barbarian. You watch I'm that. very into true crime stuff, Barbarian. and I could into it and Seven and stuff like that. But once it's like. Mm, I'm good. <laughs> I mean, you can handle watching Seven, but you can't watch Mama. Is it because she jumps well, out of stuff? Is it because she slides through the walls? It's a person doing these things. It's not. It's not. You watch Darkness Falls. You scared of the Tooth Fairy too? What's going on? Well, <laughs> what? <laughs> Thirteen Ghosts. You're not watching that either. Thirteen Ghosts. And I have seen that with Mark. House on Haunted Hill? No. House on Haunted Hill fucked me up for years. I was fucked up. Don't tell my house. <laughs> no. House Maybe on Haunted Hill and 13 Ghosts. 13 Ghosts fucked 13 me Ghosts and my sister up. It fucked fuck me and my sister up so bad we slept on the living room couch. 13 Ghosts? The Matthew no. Lillard film. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, we all got the black box and we only had five channels. We were... I I, I, I know saw that shit in the theaters. Yeah, we came back from the theater and slept on the living room couch. It fucked us up that bad. Oh, the idea of a ghost you're being able to kill you—you you can't you're fight a ghost. If you can't fight it, how can you get away? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> ghost like a lot. All that stuff on Instagram, like El Cucuy, like not the fucking radio host, the host, but you know what I mean. Yeah, like man. I follow that stuff, and like it's. Don't call the cuckoo you know what sucks? <laughs> it's it's those stupid videos that fucking run up and scare you. It's yeah. not the actual like we found footage videos. Mad interested. I always think it's gonna be that stupid, ugh, stupid fuck you. <laughs> like See, fuck. okay, so so I'm gonna give a shout out real quick to uh, a TikToker. Uh completely no no sponsorship or anything like that. And I think Ash you'll like his content, okay. Uh, it's his thing is uh, Latinos against spooky shit. Um, <laughs> no joke. It's called Latinos against spooky shit. He's yes. He's uh, uh, hola. No. What is what is his ta- what is his intro line? Oh, uh, his uh, his intro line is uh, hola. Hola, when I started no. this. When I started this, yes. Yeah, he I goes, follow hola, that this. And then he starts explaining it and stuff like that. There yeah. was one where, um, and, and, and again, funny though. It's funny. It is funny. funny it's funny, it funny. Uh, because it's it's like the way he explains certain things, uh, the way that he tells you how to fight these these ghosts and stuff. He goes, just get like chancla, spray it with some fabuloso on it, you know, and, and just just fucking just kick his ass with it, you know. So <laughs> it it is funny. So I, I if you guys are on TikTok, definitely yeah. check him out. I, I'm sure he does not need any additional like uh, uh, hype or anything like that because the man's got over probably a million followers. We'll probably uh, reach out to him to do an interview. Huh? We'll no, yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yes. So, so yeah, Latinos Against nice. Spooky Shit, if you guys get a chance, check him out. Uh, I, I think you guys would dig his content. Uh, yeah, go ahead, Ash. Did you see the one, the little boy around the sink? 
and then they and he like he gets scared but he goes to this he goes to the sink and there's nothing fucking there no. and he's like let me explain this to you like there's a fucking little boy blah 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 like when he explained la, la llorona like it's like that like this is the story behind it this is the yeah. blah 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 like Oh man, but first one that, and now like the little boy and the and he follows it all the way. There's no pause, there's no yeah. nothing. Yeah. He follows yeah. it and he just goes like, okay, so what you need to do, you get to soak spices and you like like he gives you the fucking whole recipe yeah. care of that one motherfucker, even though it's a joke, it's just like, oh. And he always comes in on the joke, like right when you're about to get scared, okay, when I started it, like he's so fucking and, and I think. His his other tagline at the very end is, "If you think you heard it, no, you did it." <laughs> <laughs> but you did. Fun. All right, I will reach out to him. Yeah, I'm gonna have to throw some salt because you over here. Yeah. Hey, just you know, just salt, just around your bed, salt around throw your some, bed. Throw some salt. You you talking too much? <laughs> it enjoys the moisture. I bet. <laughs> I'm sure it does. <laughs> Uh, and on that note we're gonna go ahead and wrap it up for an episode of comics we greatly again greatly appreciate you guys joining us everybody on twitch uh thank you guys for joining us uh again uh share the video we are wherever you guys go ahead and and stream podcasts we are on youtube we are on twitch uh luis and ash put together a comics plays where we go ahead and play video games on there andres has his comics and you and susan b mosby Comics plays and you and soon to be Mosby's. Yes. Mosby's uh, to be joining. Plural. It's it's a whole family affair. That's what that's what we're getting. And at. also on, on Comics Plays, uh my name is uh Mob Stash. Uh Mosby, who are you on PlayStation? Um uh, Mighty Mosby, obviously. Mighty Mosby, uh Esteban. Uh Este Stark. Yes, and the Stark. way we're saying that is that because we're going through the catalog. And we're going to be playing a lot of uh, four-player plus games, cool. and uh, be cool to play because you'll be part of our content, our content. Uh, just playing the game and just giving a review about the game, but it's a way for everybody to be a part of what we do. Very cool. So you guys go ahead and definitely check us out. Uh, Ash also has his uh, show, The Corner, that uh, is every Monday. If you guys are interested in joining The Corner. Yeah, just just hit us up on our on our DMs, message us. It is a trivia, it is a trivia game night uh, on Mondays. So hit us up if you guys want to go ahead and join that. If you guys want to get your feet wet with some comics content, but again, thank you guys very much for sharing, liking. Please continue to do so. Uh, we got new stuff coming out every week. Thank you to Comic Con Radio for for uh, posting all of our audio. Uh, we've got ten episodes and many, 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 many more to come. Uh, so on that note, we're going to go ahead and wrap it up. And as always, comics, we are fucking everywhere. You're never getting rid of us. <laughs> we're all good. I have crippling depression. And I hide it well. <laughs> <laughs> My strong hand. <laughs>